The political landscape of Trinidad and Tobago has been fraught with tension in recent times, particularly concerning the actions of Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley towards the Tobago House of Assembly, THA. Accusations of demonization have been leveled against him, as he employs various means to undermine the democratic institution. In this article, we delve into five reasons behind Dr. Rowley's alleged attempts to tarnish the image of the THA and the implications this has on the nation's democratic fabric. The THA's autonomous standing. One of the key reasons behind Dr. Rowley's attempts to demonize the THA could be attributed to the Assembly's autonomous status. The THA enjoys a considerable degree of self-governance within the broader framework of the Trinidad and Tobago government. This autonomy allows the THA to exercise its powers independently in areas such as finance, land, and local administration. Dr. Rowley's desire for greater centralization of power may lead him to challenge the THA's authority, hence the attempt to discredit it. Political rivalry and power struggles Political rivalries and power struggles often form the backdrop of such confrontations. Dr. Rowley, as the Prime Minister, and the THA, as a separate governing body, may have differing ideologies and policy objectives. These ideological clashes can fuel a contentious relationship, with Dr. Rowley using various tactics to weaken the THA and its elected representatives to assert his authority and agenda. Controversial policies and legislation. Critics of Dr. Rowley argue that his attempts to demonize the THA are driven by the Assembly's opposition to certain government policies and legislation. The THA, as an independent entity, may voice dissent on issues that it deems unfavorable for Tobago's development. In response, Dr. Rowley may resort to discrediting the Assembly to marginalize their opposition and stifle their influence. Public perception and political support. Demonizing the THA could also be a strategic move to influence public perception and garner political support. By portraying the THA as an obstruction to progress or a source of corruption, Dr. Rowley may aim to rally public sentiment against the Assembly and strengthen his position as the leader of the nation. Creating a negative image of the THA could make it easier to justify any measures taken to limit its powers or decision-making capabilities. Centralization of power. A deeper concern lies in the potential ramifications for Trinidad and Tobago's democratic system. Dr. Rowley's alleged attempts to weaken the THA could signal a broader agenda of centralizing power in the hands of the central government. Such a concentration of power may undermine the principles of decentralization, checks, and balances vital for a healthy democratic system. Conclusion. The allegations against Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley concerning his attempts to demonize the Tobago House of Assembly are both complex and concerning. The THA's autonomous status, political rivalries, and policy disagreements are just some of the factors contributing to the ongoing tension between the two entities. As citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, it is essential to closely monitor these developments, as they have significant implications for the nation's democratic fabric and political landscape. Preserving the autonomy and integrity of the THA is crucial for upholding the principles of democracy and ensuring equitable governance for all citizens.